Welcome to EverydayLinuxUser.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Peppermint OS. Now, Peppermint OS is a lightweight operating system, it uses the XFCE desktop. Uh, it's based on either Debian or Devawan, and the difference between those is Debian has SystemD, Devawan doesn't. Uh, that's the main difference. And uh, it says we use a common process of continuous delivery. Right, so I'm going to click on download Peppermint. I'm going to show you how to do this for Windows and Linux. So it will show you how to create a USB drive using Windows. It will show you how to create a USB drive using Linux. And then we'll use that USB drive to install to your computer. So I've clicked on the download button and you can see there's a Debian base or a Devon base and that's for XFCE. There's also a GNOME flashback version and there's some mini builds as well. So I'm actually going to go for Debian. You can choose SourceForge or you can choose uh, Mirror. I'm going to choose the Mirror. And you can see that's downloaded in the top right hand corner. Whilst that's doing that we can go and get the software we're going to use to create the USB drive. Now you can use Ventoy. Uh, I my last video showed you how to use Ventoy to put multiple operating systems onto a USB drive. Um, but for this video, we're going to use Etcher. And to get Etcher, you go to etcher.belina.io. And when you see the screen, you click on Download Etcher. And when you get to the bottom, you want Etcher for Windows. I'm going to click Download. And that will start downloading in the top right corner as well. When you have finished downloading Peppermint and Etcher, you can close the browser window and you want to click on your file explorer down here, your Windows Explorer, and you want to go to the downloads folder and you'll see uh, there's Belina Etcher and uh, there's a Peppermint OS uh, disk image file. So if you double click on the setup, you can close this window here, click on I agree. The application should start automatically, um, but if it doesn't, uh, click on the icon on the desktop and then you'll come to this screen. Uh, you need to insert a blank USB drive. Do that now. If uh, you haven't got a blank one, but you've got one that you don't mind losing the data on, you can insert that as well, or you can copy the data off and uh, just be aware that the USB drive will be wiped. So I'm going to click flash from file. And you're going to click on the Peppermint OS that you downloaded and click open. You're going to select your target and that's going to be your USB drive. Click select and then you're going to click flash. Uh, when this warning appears just click yes. And it will start writing to the USB drive and uh, you'll see the ETA there. There's a verification process that happens afterwards. So uh, about 10 minutes I'd imagine and you'll be done. There you go, flash completed. Uh, so now Windows users you can skip ahead to the time that it says around about here. And uh, For Linux users I'll now show you how to create a USB drive for Linux. So here we are, uh, this is my Linux machine. So all you have to do is open a browser, go to peppermintos.com and as before you click on download peppermint and then you choose the version you want. So in this case, I can use SourceForge or Mirror. Uh, this time I do SourceForge. It does the same thing. It downloads the ISO image. And you can see that's downloaded in the top right hand corner. I'm going to cancel that because I've already downloaded it. And then we need Etcher. So we go to etcher.io as before. Click on download. Go down here and you want to click on the app image and that will download as well. So now we can either open a file explorer and we can go to downloads and you can see we've got Etcher here. So you can usually right click, go to properties, click on permissions and allow this file to run as a program. Or if you need to do it from a terminal, uh, you can press the, you can open a terminal window. Usually Control Alt and T does this. CD into the downloads folder, click ls, and then you want to type sudo chmod plus x right click copy right click paste press return and now you can either 
type the whole command in, or you can go to your file explorer and it'd be clickable. I would recommend using the file explorer. So like this, go to downloads and double click. As before, Bellino H will start. You click flash from file, choose Peppermint OS, select your target, and then click flash. Again, it will overwrite your USB drive, so if there's anything on there you want to keep, um, copy it off before you do this. Click Flash, enter your password, and it will start to write to the USB drive as before. As with the Windows version, it gets to the end of the validation step, and then it's going to say Flash completed. As so. So now whether you use Windows or Linux, you should have a bootable USB drive. And what we're going to do is you're going to put the USB drive in the machine you want to put Linux on. You're going to boot the machine and you're going to press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. Now this differs from manufacturer to manufacturer and you can Google um, Windows boot key for your make and model of PC and it will tell you. Uh, in my case it's going to be F7, in yours it might be F9, might be F12, might be Escape, but essentially as this machine's booting up, press the relevant function key. Before you get into Windows, before you get into any other operating system, press the function key. Sometimes it flashes up on the screen, um, but you haven't got much time, it's really quick. So it's better, better to Google it, but uh, once you find it, it, uh, out what it is, uh, reboot your machine and press that function key. So here's my machine, I'm going to press the F7 key, and you can see it's entering boot menu. And I'm going to choose the Pony Transformer. And it gives me an option to choose Peppermint Live. Choose that. And it should now boot into Peppermint OS. So here we are inside Peppermint OS. And it's a really nice um, desktop wallpaper, as we said. And the theming is very nice. Um, so to install it, the first thing you might want to do is connect to the internet. So if you go down here, there's a little symbol and you can just choose the network that you want to choose and then enter a password as I have. And to install Peppermint, top left corner, double, uh, click on the icon, uh, select your language. So in my case, British English, click next. Choose your location on the map and it's already picked London. You can click anywhere else, or you can choose your region and zone that way. Uh, click Next. Uh, choose your keyboard layout, in my case uh, UK default is fine. Partitions, uh, so I've already got um, an operating system on this machine, so I can choose to install alongside, replace a partition or erase the disk and that's what I'm going to do. If you've got no other operating system it's just going to let you install the operating system. Uh, you want to keep this as it is, it automatically picks the correct partition for putting your um, EFI um, entry in. So uh, erase disk and leave that as it is. Um, and then click next. Enter your name and a username. Give your PC a name, so I'm going to call it Peppermint. Enter a password. Repeat the password. And then click next. And that gives you a summary of what's going to happen. Uh, so then you want to click install. And it's now going to install the operating system. This can take a little while, so um, grab some refreshments and come back in about 10 minutes. And once it's all finished, you'll see all done. Uh, you can restart the computer, just leave that ticked and click next, and your computer will restart. When you reboot, um, take out the USB drive and you'll see this menu. Click the top option. You'll be asked to log in, uh, so enter your um, password um, for the user you created during the installation, and then you'll get to this screen. And that's it, Peppermint OS is installed. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User, where I'll be doing a full review of Peppermint OS. Thank you for watching.